is Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestant. Player one. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Player two. Player three. <laughs> and now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. Monroe Puri. Birth and Death. Kid Lit. Words. On Broadway. And American History. Player One, you start us off. If you say, I'm eating a hot dog with this, you could mean a chopped pickle topping or just plain enjoyment. Yes, player one? <laughs> yep. Player one, back to you for our next selection. Chat about this in your chat room. Chat is merely a shortened form of this seven-letter word. Yes, player one? <laughs> you are correct. Player one, pick again. This name for a work of art that you may carve in art class comes from the Latin for to carve. We're talking about a sculpture. You get to pick again, player one. The name of these small towers often seen on castles comes from the old French for small towers. Player two. You got it. <laughs> Player two, you're in command of the board as we continue, right? From the Latin for almost last, it means, hmm, next to last. Yes, player three. <laughs> Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Let's hear it, player one. Yes. Yeah! A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player one. Make us a, a game of hide and seek leads Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy into this land that's always winter and never Christmas. Okay, player one. Oh. Yeah, good. <laughs> player one, pick again. Leroy Brown is the real name of the boy detective with this bookish nickname. Here's the correct response. Encyclopedia. Player one, you pick again, please. It's the Daily Double. And you're in the lead now. What are you going to wait? Answer this. This Louise Fitzhugh Lass spies on her classmates and writes about them in her secret notebook. That puts you even further ahead. Player one, back to you. In a Frances Hodgson Burnett tale, Mary Lennox tends to the secret this. Here is what we wanted. Garden. We return to you, player one. This Kipling lad goes on a Himalayan journey with a Tibetan Lama.
Let's hear it, player two. Right. <laughs> player two, where do we start? Two snugly cute characters in Avenue Q aren't called the bad news these, but the bad idea these. Okay, player one. Yeah. Right. All right, let's get back into this. Player one. The number one cause of death in the United States isn't cancer, but disease of this organ. Yes, player one. Right. <laughs> Player one, choose again. A cuneiform tablet dating to 2000 BC is the first known reference to the type of birth associated with this Roman leader. Yes, player three. <laughs> That's correct. All right, let's get back into this. Player three has control. Many of this Jonathan Larson musical's famous fans have gone backstage to add their names to a long graffiti wall. Okay, player three. Oh. Sorry, oh. that's wrong. Anyone else? It's player one. Yep. Yeah! Okay, let's get back into this. Player one, you make the... The death in Death in Venice is from this waterborne disease that has caused several pandemics. Player two. That's it. <laughs> Player two, you start us off. Louise Brown, the first baby conceived as the result of in vitro fertilization, was born in this decade. Here's what we were looking for. The 1970s. You get to pick again, player two. For 2011, the 10 highest fertility rates were in countries on this continent. It's player two. Yeah! <laughs> player two, back to you for our next selection. Fantasia of American Idol played the role of Seeley in The Color This. It's player one. Woo! Yes. <laughs> player one, make a selection, please, as we continue. Spring Awakening is an alt-rock musical based on an 1891 play that Frank Wiedekind originally wrote in this language. Here's the correct response. German. Player one, choose again. Huey Lewis, Harry Hamlin, and George Hamilton have all been tapped to play tap dancing lawyer Billy Flynn in this musical. Here is what we wanted. Chicago. Select again. After General Cornwallis surrendered at Yorktown, this American traitor accompanied him back to England. Player one. Woo! Good. Player one, back to you for our next selection. In 1898, Americans were urged to remember the battleship named for this state. It sank in Havana Harbor. Player one. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Player one, you pick again, please. This January 1st, 1863 document liberated all slaves in regions still under Confederate control.
Player two. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Player two. Where do we start? The New Deal refers to the economic recovery and social reforms implemented by this U.S. president. The correct response is Franklin Roosevelt. Player two, back to you. In 1609, this captain was injured in a gunpowder explosion and lost his leadership role in Jamestown. Yes, player three? <laughs> right, you're out of the hole. Player three, you start. In 1948, she had one line in Love Happy, the last Marx Brothers movie. Player one? Good. Player one, start us. Forget DiMaggio and Berra, the secret to the Yankees' 11 pennants from 1947 to 1960 was Lucy Monroe's singing of this. Here's the response we were looking for. The Star Spangled Banner. You get to pick again, player one. See Marion Monroe train as a child psychologist and co-write the book starring this unexciting boy-girl pair. Here's the correct response. Dick and Jane. Select again. 1940s singing star Vaughn Monroe had a rich voice in this middle male range, hence the nickname Old Leather Tonsils. It's player two. Aww. Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else? Okay, player one. Yes! Here's the thousand dollar clue for you. In 1912, Harriet Monroe launched the magazine simply called This. It soon published T.S. Eliot and Ezra Pound. Here's the response we were looking for. Poetry. <laughs> player three is in third place, which means, of course, player three will select first in double jeopardy. Let's see what happens in double jeopardy with these categories awaiting the players. Sports Illustrated Magic Numbers. Archipelagos. Take me out to the history game. Wolfgang. Under the sea. And insects. All right, let's get back into this. Player three has come. Baseball, 4,192 hits. Here's the response we were looking for. Pete Rose. It's 1922, and the Black Shirts force King Victor Emmanuel III to appoint this far-right fielder as Prime Minister. We're talking about Benito Mussolini. We return to you, Player 3. It's 1649. And this king is looking kind of tired out. Yep, here comes Oliver Cromwell to give him the hook.
Okay, player three. <laughs> Any other takers? Yes, player two. Grant. <laughs> Where do we begin, player two? It's July 10th, 1553, and this lady will pinch hit for Edward VI, who's been taken out of the game. Cousin Mary is on deck. Here's the response we were looking for. Jane Grey. Select again. We're flying past 10,000 feet on our way to this. The altitude will maintain en route 35,000 feet. Player one. Anyone else? Let's hear it, player two. Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Let's hear it, player three. You are correct. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player three. Make us a hockey. 92 goals. Here's the correct response. Wayne Gretzky. Select again. Baseball. 2,131 consecutive games. Let's hear it, player two. That is correct. <laughs> player two, you start us off. Track and field, 29 feet, two and a half inches. Let's hear it, player two. Yes. <laughs> we return to you, player two. Football. 63 yards. Let's hear it, player two. Oh, no, sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? It's player three. You are correct. <laughs> on the plus side again. Player three, you start us off. It's going back, back, and it's over the 73-mile-long wall built in the 120s A.D. by this slugger, the Emperor. Okay, player three. Yeah! Correct. <laughs> you again, player three. Sitka is the largest city in this state's Alexander Archipelago. Here's the correct response. Alaska. You get to pick again, player three. In 1965, the Cook Islands became self-governing in free association with this country that provides for their defense. Okay, player three. Yeah! <laughs> You get to pick again, player three. This Scottish archipelago is famous not only for its ponies, but also for a breed of dog. Okay, player two. <laughs> that is correct. Player two, you start us off. Answer. The first of the two daily doubles. You are in first place.
How much are you going to wager, player two? Okay, here is the clue. This Pacific Island country is named for a British sea captain, not Happy Days producer Gary. That puts you even further ahead. Player two, back to you. This Portuguese archipelago once served as a stop for the treasure galleons returning to Spain from America. We're talking about the Azores. Select again. It's 1902 and Teddy Roosevelt is putting this junior on the bench, the Supreme Court bench, and he'll be there for 29 years. Yes, player three? Woo! Hey, you're right. <laughs> Player three, make a selection, please, as we continue. In a 12th century beast epic, Isengrim is a wolf who battles against the sneaky Reynard, one of these animals. Let's hear it, player one. Good yeah! for you. Player one, you start us off. The finest singers among species of this insect are the tree type, not the house or field type. Okay, player one. Select again. It reached Texas from Mexico around 1890 and spread into most cotton growing areas of the United States. Player two. Aww. Anyone else? Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. Right. Please pick again, player one. Like 1990, 2007 was a year when these noisy insects famously swarmed the Midwest. Here's the correct response. Cicadas. You again, player one. Stoneflies belong to the order Plecoptera, which means pleated this. Here's the correct response. Wing. Player one, back to you. Two common shorthorn species of this in North America are the lubber and eastern lubber. Okay, player three. Oh. Any other takers? Here's the correct response. The grasshopper. We return to you, player one. Sarah will present this clue. Ledger lines are for notes that don't fit on the five-line staff, like this note that can be shown one line below the treble staff or one line above the bass staff. It's player one. Player one, choose again. The modern Hebrew and Arabic alphabets consist only of this type of letter. The correct response is a consonant. You again, player one. 
It's the South American national capital city that fits the category. Player two. That's it. <laughs> Player two, you're in command of the board as we continue. Right? In a medieval legend, the town of Gubbio is terrorized by a wolf until this saint greets it and tames it. Okay, player three. Nice. <laughs> Where do we begin, player three? Raksha is the mother wolf who raises this human boy in Kipling's The Jungle Book. Player one. Player one, you're in command of the board as we could Found in South Africa in 1905, this 3,106 carat diamond went to Amsterdam for cutting. Here's what we were looking for, the Cullinan. You get to pick again, player one. This Jack London wolf character survives years of dog fighting and finally finds a compassionate human owner. Here's the correct response. White Fang. And now the $2,000 clue. Answer. The other daily double. You're in second right now. What'll it be? Answer this. In her novel, The Plains of Passage, a wolf named Wolf is the hunting partner of a cave woman. Oh. No. Oh. Sorry. Here's what we were looking for. Jean M. All. You all move on to Final Jeopardy, which will continue after these messages. Here comes the Final Jeopardy players. The category is this. American Publishing. What are you going to wait for? Here you are, players, the final Jeopardy clue. The 1860 frontier novel, Malaeska, the first of its kind, sold 300,000 copies for total sales revenue of this. you put as your response? And that correct response will add... Did you come up with the correct response? Sorry, oh. that incorrect response will drop your score by... What did you say? With that correct response, you will gain... You come out ahead as our champion player, too. So long.